Hey guys, it's your girl Cam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and I really hope you join the Cam fam by hitting that subscribe button down below. So today I'm bringing you a quick little smoky holiday glam look. It's not overtly obvious, but you can definitely still wear it to all your holiday parties. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm starting with my Bye Bye Foundation, and I have this in the color Light. It's one of the only light foundations I have right now, but I really love this one because it's definitely dewier and more hydrating than the original CC Cream. And as you can see, I started going in with the sponge, and that was a bad idea because this is already very sheer, so it just sheared it out way too much and didn't spread very well. So I switched to using my It Cosmetics brush, and as you can see, I'm getting a lot more coverage from it. It's still fairly light coverage, and I believe I had to use like two layers to get the desired amount of coverage that I wanted, but I still love how just like dewy and natural this looks. It doesn't emphasize texture when you have dry skin from the winter, so I just really love this foundation. Then I went in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and this baby is so thick. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. I'm not using a lot at all, and it is very like thick and gel-like, so I did use a sponge to blend it out, and that really helps add in some moisture, but obviously because it's super thick, it offers a lot of coverage, so if you have a lot of really bad under eye circles like I do because I haven't been getting much sleep, then this will work wonders. Then I just set all of that with the e.l.f. translucent loose powder and I'm really just setting my under eyes, lids, and nose with this, um, not the rest of my face because my face is just way too dry right now to go in with any sort of loose powder. It's just going to emphasize the texture and everything so badly. So I'm just doing this under my eyes and on my nose because my nose is like an oil factory. Um, yeah. so. For the rest of my face, I went in with the Revolution Pro Skin Finish, and this is in the shade Radiance, and I'm really loving using pressed powders on the rest of my face. I feel like they set everything, but it doesn't feel like you have a powder on, and this just adds a really nice glow. So then I went in with my Too Faced Chocolate Sully Bronzer, um, just a little bit, because I wanted to add some definition to my cheeks. I have like gained a little bit of weight recently so I'm trying to slim down my face and just really I just got to lose some weight but yeah um I just went and bronze up my face just a tad because I'm really not self-tanned so I didn't want to go crazy and I'm also going in with this to contour my nose because it's still like pretty wide and weird looking Then I used my Milani Luminoso blush, and I just wanted to do something neutral and a little more on the peachy side. For highlight, I'm using Ofra's Star Island from my All of the Lights palette, and I have to use like really light highlights right now because I'm really pale, so this is like one of the lightest ones. And for once, I'm actually like starting to experiment with doing some nose highlights. I never did before because obviously I didn't want to draw like light and attention to my nose before, but now I can do that. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and I'm just using that to outline my brows and fill them in. I really like using this product as opposed to a pencil when I'm doing more dramatic eyeshadow because I feel like it just makes my brows like heavier and darker and more polished looking, so it provides a better frame for like more dramatic eyeshadows because normally I will use a pencil, but I like this, and it also helps like kind of keep my brows in place too. So next I'm going in with the Anastasia Subculture Palette for this look. It's got amazing greens in it. 
And I'm starting off with Dawn in my crease just to start off with a transition shade. And it's a pretty light shade, but it still shows up on my really light eyelids. Then I went in with Destiny and started building up some green in my crease. It's like a medium olive shade. I'm just really outlining where I want the green to stop on my lid. And as you can see, it's just emphasizing and creating that crease that I don't like normally have. Then I just went back in with that first shade Dawn to really help blend out that olive because there's quite a big jump between the beige and olive color and obviously you know reverse blending just further helps blend out your eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with the color Untamed and at first I tried using the brush that comes with the palette but I felt like it wasn't big enough to really like cover my eyelid fully so I went in with a larger brush but I still wanted it to be like a fluffier blending brush because that just really helps with not having harsh lines on your eyelid especially when going in with such a dark shade. So I'm bringing this up to the olive shade and not past it that's kind of like the line of delineation where I don't want the darkness going above and I'm just trying to like get it right up to that crease. As you can see I like wipe my brush really quickly just to like help blend out these edges. And then I'm also going in with both the shades Destiny and Untamed to really help like blend those two colors together in the crease. So that way there's no line of delineation. For my lower lash line, I used a smudger brush with Untamed right up on my lash line just to add a lot of depth there. And then I blended it out with Destiny with a slightly fluffier pencil brush. Then I used Cube for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And this shade actually is like a white with a slight pinkish shift. It doesn't really show up that much on camera, but in person, like it definitely does lean a little more towards like the pink side. That didn't really bother me, but you might just want to use your highlighter. Then I use the glitter injections, pressed glitter in the shade Athena. Just any green glitter will do. And again, I'm using the same fluffy brush to just disperse this very sparsely all over the lid. I didn't want to go in with my finger and make it very opaque. Then I'm just popping on my Ardell 251 lashes and some mascara. And for lips, I'm using my Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte in Skinny Dip because I just wanted something very, very neutral because the eyes are so intense and smoky. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Here is the finished look. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.